Right, today I have a Wux 36 volts cordless lawnmower. And uh, I got it from a dumpster. Somebody throw this away. And amazingly, it's still working. Let's see if we can do this with one hand. Amazingly, it's still working. And today, I'm going to disassemble the whole thing and uh, possibly get the motor and the controller so I can use for other projects. Seems like the battery is still good. So I can probably use the battery too. So there, there are probably three 12 volt lead acid batteries in here. Alright, time to take it apart. Right, so I got the lid out. There are a couple of screws on the front, three screws on the back, and we got a nice 36 volt motor here. And we got the wire from the motor going to the controller, which is this. There used to be a handlebar right here. And the controller, I believe, is this one. Very small and compact controller. Right, it's time to get the motor out. That's one bolt right here. Three bolts over there. And it should be out. I have got everything out. And let me show you the battery pack. Inside here, there are three 12 volt lead acid batteries. One, two, three, and the third one is swollen. Swollen on the top, swollen on the side. So I think this battery is short. I measured the voltage of this battery, and amazingly, these two still show 12.7, 12.8 volts, which is a full charge. This one here shows less than 11 volts, so it's pretty much bad. There's no way to fix this. And let's see. There's a small circuit board underneath the top cover of the battery. And this circuit board is not a controller. The circuit board is for the, uh, the test, for testing the, the, the capacity of the battery. It's a gauge, it's a battery gauge. It's too small to be a controller. And the wire that come from the, the motor go in here on the top go down here to the two terminal of the battery pack and it does not go through anything else it does not go through a board or a controller or anything so the wire goes straight to the battery pack and then there's only one single button switch this is a 25 amp 36 volt DC switch I don't think this is a controller I think this is just a switch on off switch so when you press on it it will go and when you release it will turn off but you cannot control the speed of the motor and let me plug it in and try it I've got it plugged in and let's see how it runs So basically I cannot control the speed of the motor so when I press it will go at full speed and when I release it will just stop right away and I cannot uh, go, slow, go slowly on the, the switch it's either on or off that's pretty much it so this is not a controller it's just an on off switch and um, 
there's no way for me to control the speed of the motor. And that is pretty much it for today. Um, my next project, electric bike or electric scooter or electric go-kart. Hmm, which one? We'll see. Or anything that goes. Alright, and uh, that's it for today and uh, thank you for watching.